Today, or tonight, we're eating at one of the most highly rated restaurants in downtown Hershey. All right, let's eat. If you're new here, we're called the Theme Park Foodies. My name's Jay. I'm Sam. And um, yeah, so we're in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and I've heard so many great things about Devon's Seafood and Steak in downtown Hershey. Uh, right behind us, we're in the we're actually one of the parking garages for downtown Hershey, and you can see Hershey Park and the beautiful sunset yeah, it's very right nice. on uh, Sky Rush right behind us. Sam, are you excited? I am. Yeah. Uh, Sam's not a big seafood person, but maybe a little steak for you tonight? Yeah. I can do steak. <laughs> it's also very cold, right? Yeah, it's like 30 degrees. <laughs> yeah, like and that. we have no idea where it is. Our GPS just said come to this parking area. So we're going to try to find it and we'll let you guys know what we think of everything. We'll rank it 1 to 10. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our romantic dinner oh. at Devon's Seafood and Steak. <laughs> a little romance. <laughs> so we actually parked near Houlihan's, uh, near the Hershey Press building. Um, it's on the other side, I think. Yeah, we saw the curbside pickup for Devon over there. Yeah. So I feel like it has to be. It has to be cold. close. Yeah, it's very cold. So, uh, hopefully we made the right move. Great view of the Hershey Chocolate Factory over there in the distance. We found it. It's on the other side of Hands, in that same Hershey Press building. All right, steaks, seafood. Well, let's go in. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, so much nice right here. You have these markers telling you which lane to stay in as you walk. Thank you. Nice food. So I guess we're not too bright because we didn't go underneath the awning. It was actually right across the street. It doesn't say their name on it. It says Hula Hands. Yeah, no, and the, so the GPS. The way around. Yeah, GPS took us the other way. We're here. We're here. We made it. We're here. It was it was an adventure. All right, so they got a big menu. Oh, these starters look like goat cheese, bruschetta, fried calamari, sweet cauliflower, tuna tartare, oysters Rockefeller. I think we got a discount. With oh, we do? For Shishi's Ooh. I hope I didn't make that up. Well, we'll see. We'll let you guys know. I oh, mean, there's so much in here. All right, I'll let you guys know what we get. They also try to use this candlelight for some Right, they have their own signature cocktails. They have a Hershey Kisses cocktail, Downtown Dane, Maple Old Fashion, French 75. I've had a French 75 mm -hmm. at uh, Enchanted Rose. Rose. Sangria looks good. I'm excited for this meal. A lot of information. Yes. So apparently they get their seafood flown in from all over the world. Yes, and on the menu, so this explains the menu a little bit better to me. Um, it says today's fish. And they have all the fish and the, the places where they're flown in from. They say the special day is from Florida, the seared golden tile. I just can't escape Florida. <laughs> and the steaks uh, they have on their, um, I guess, wood burning oven, he said. I could be Mesquite. wrong. Mesquite. Mesquite, wood, but we're not. He, he, he said it better than us. There was a lot going yeah. on. Yeah. And they have seasonal sides, which are based off of the seasonal items made in the local area. Um, and on the back of this, they have award an award-winning wine menu, so I think maybe I'll get a I'll get a Pinot or something. You know, if I haven't I had got, any drinks this, this trip. Pinot. Yeah, I have one drink, and then they brought over this uh, these biscuits Cheddar with biscuits. with truffle butter. I'm sure these are from the the butters from the local farms. So yeah, so let's, uh, let's try out the biscuits and see what we're gonna get for our entrees and apps. Going real masculine with the drinks, I got a sweet white wine Moscato called the Seven Daughters. So. Interesting name. Christy <laughs> just sent me a video of Frank. Look, oh, it's my Frank, sister. Frank's in the vlog. There we go, Frank. <laughs> and I got the Pacific Punch, On which the, is yeah. rum. Two, three types of rum, sweet tea, vodka, pineapple juice, and house-made lemonade. Ooh, that sounds good. I think you're gonna want some of my punch. Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> oh, we still have yet to try these uh, biscuits. I hope they're still warm. All right, so I'm gonna try it with and without the butter. So I'll start, start with that. Mm. Mm. 
That's like, you know like the um, red lobster biscuits? It's like that, but, like but better. way better. <laughs> but like real butter. Although I do really like red lobster. I feel like you said cracked pepper or something? I feel like I've ever Or cheese. Uh, it's like fresh cheese. Let me try with the butter. Starting off with tens. It's re you guys are right. It's really good. This is a ten biscuit. It's like a fancy red lobster biscuit. All right. So what's your drink? Here's my Pacific Punch. Is it from the Pacific? I wonder what makes it Pacific. Maybe the pineapple. Mm. So it's like a really good like Malibu and pineapple. Mm. But instead of just Malibu, there's three different types of rum in it. Delicious. And this is like my first like alcoholic drink when I was younger was Malibu and pineapple because that's what my mom would drink. So like reminds me of that. Oh nice. It's delicious. Alright, I'm gonna try my seven sisters next. Seven do seven daughters, not seven sisters. There's seven daughters. It's like not seven, seven women though. Yeah. Seven women made this. Is it that very aggressive? <laughs> this tastes like fruit punch. Really? It doesn't even taste like wine. Is there kind of drink? It's like a sparkling fruit punch. Wow. It's like a 10, but it's a very girly drink. But I'm all for very girly drinks. So. Cheers. Girly drinks do the job. Yeah, no, you need, you need to try this because I think this is a year out. Sam is a whiner, so I feel like she needed to try it's this. It's wino, not whiner. <laughs> but I do wine oh, on too, so. <laughs> I guess I could be both. That's really good. Right? Like fruit punch. It's very sweet. It's nice. I would say it's a 10, right? Really Everything's good. been a 10 so far. All right, so I got the seared tile. Yes. I think it's called tile, right? Florida tile. So it's like a white flaky. Flaky fish, fish. with like a buttery flavor and like uh, a, a sweet ap aftertaste. Sound, sounded good. Sold me on it. Um, I got the lobster risotto, which doesn't have actually have any lobster in it, but it's made of like a lobster stock. And um, I also got the uh, wild mushrooms with truffle butter. And you got crab cakes. Right? Yes, and I got crab cakes as my appetizer, which I'm very excited to try. Samantha, what'd you get? I got the eight ounce filet with potatoes and speckles. Yes, I want to. I want to maybe take a little bite of that. If you're okay with it. You have an appetizer. <laughs> like, yeah, you have enough. I was gonna get the server turf. I'm like still full from chocolate. Yeah, I didn't want to get too much food. So I don't want to get dessert. That's why I'm just getting the steak and nothing else. Mm. She didn't need her biscuit. Eat the biscuit. I can't. Like I'm just. It's like probably one of the best biscuits I, I ever had. So I'm very disappointed. But leave you, but it's like I'm I'm full and I want to enjoy my dinner the best I can because I think it's gonna be really good. It's life, man. You know, gotta do what's right. All right, let's enjoy your dinner. I feel like with that Tommy Bahama shirt, you should be drinking a right? Pacific Punch. This is good. This is real good. You got another town on there. I hope I- I think that little wine is hitting you. Yeah, that too. I hope I don't become too 10 happy, but I mean, I, we have been a little more, um, in the vlogs a little I feel like we've been a little more critical places. Uh, so far everything's been a 10. Uh, will it be Trogues though? Trogues right now is our number one place to eat. Trogues was really fun, but I feel like they're two different types of places. Different atmospheres for sure. I actually want to show you guys the special lighting that they have. They actually have a specific light for each table, which uh, sets the mood. So they have mood lighting in here, um, which is in in interesting and definitely um, it's a fine dining establishment. So if you look at the ceiling, they have like a little spotlight for each table. And it's like a dimmer. And they have a fire going in the middle of the room, probably representing their uh, wood burning oven. All right, so these are the jumbo lump crab cakes. Uh, they come with two sauces. This is a mango tartar and a Creole lemonol. I think you call it. Reminol. Reminol. So it had a little bit of spice, but it wasn't overwhelming. Yeah. Well, I like spice, so let's squeeze a little bit of lemon on each of these for a little flavor. Well, they're very flaky. 
And it's like a lot of crab in there too. So I get a little bit of this sauce that's hot. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> Just the mango in that, in that sauce. Let's try this one right here. I like spicy, so let's see how this is. That's the sauce one. These are mostly crab. Very little, a lot of crab cakes are very much cake. Very little crab. These are a lot of crab. And it doesn't have that fishy, old crab type taste. Very good, awesome crab cakes. Um, nine, no, ten, I don't know, ten, ten. All right, Sam got the eight ounce filet mignon, which looks delicious. And I added on some mushrooms, and I got some grilled asparagus, and some Yukon potatoes. Yeah, they look, that looks really good. Oh yeah, perfectly cooked. Taste of fire. Yeah, that's good. That's how you know it's wood, uh, real wood oven uh, grill. Or oven. It's not a grill. Hmm? I said wood oven grill, but it's a wood oven. Hmm. Oh. It's what happens when I have one drink. <laughs> it's amazing. Everything's been really good. Oh, wow. What would you rank at one of the ten? I would rank nine. That's nine's really good. Okay, so I don't know what I want to start with first. Um, so this is the uh, mushrooms with truffle butter. This is the risotto. Let me, I guess, just start with the fish. Tile. I never, I've never even heard of that. It's probably just like a wild caught fish. I feel the, like it's tile on that's top. somewhat healthy, right? Yeah, no, it's gonna be definitely light, flaky. <laughs> the flavor profile that yeah. our waiter described. It was 100% there with the buttery flavor and then the sweet aftertaste. Mm -hmm. So good. Let me try this risotto. I feel like the risotto looks different than I thought it was going to look. Me too. Oh my god, even my steak, like just smelling it, it smell. I smell the fire. These two are a 10. Oh, let me try these mushrooms real quick. Yeah, it's all a 10. <laughs> it's very good. No, very good. All right, so Sam got the vanilla creme brulee. I think it's vanilla bean. Vanilla bean creme brulee. Let's see how that top. Did it crack easy? Yeah. I love cracking it. That sounded weird. <laughs> yeah. Ten. Oh wow. Wow. So if you like creme brulee, that's the creme brulee to get. Oh my god. And this is the what was this called again? It's a peanut butter tort. Yes. And it has a pretzel crusted bottom and it's like a homemade like peanut butter and a chocolate ganache. Ooh, I can't wait to eat this. Okay. That's gonna be Oh, oh wow, look at this. I feel like it, it's like a homemade Reese's. Yeah, and it's got this chocolate ganache on top. That pretzel bottom's gonna be good. I think I need like a spoon for this thing. That's almost like the Reese's cup we had at Chocolate World with oh the pretzels. You know, the crust is gonna be good. <laughs> That's one of my favorite peanut butter desserts I ever had. <laughs> I was in my brain saying I think tro Trogues is better. This dessert- These desserts are better than Trogues. Yeah, this dessert put over the top of me. This is my, this is my new number one in Hershey. Ooh. Yeah. Shots fired. Yeah, no, now listen, Trogues is amazing, go to Trogues. It's different though. Yeah, it's different. It's a brewery. Yeah. You can't go wrong with either, but this is one of the best desserts I've ever had. I really want you to try it. Okay. I, I got Sam to try it. Yeah, you gotta like really pull my leg. <laughs> That's literally one of my favorite desserts I've ever had. It's from the first bite. It's like so soft. 
the, the dark chocolate on top too. The ganache is really good. The peanut butter is so creamy and soft. Yeah. And then like this like crunchy pretzel crust. With that little salt. Wow, it's it is that's to me that's the perfect dessert. Yeah. No, I was gonna perfect. make peanut butter pie for Easter, but now I have to like it's not gonna taste as good as this taste. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, no, I your peanut butter pie is delicious, Sam, but it's just that. that's a work of art, yeah. So good. If if you can't guess, that's me. It's definitely a ten. Oh my God. I feel bad for the other tens because this is like a, this is like if there was an eleven. There's no eleven. It's, uh, there's only tens. I can't go to that because so everything will be an eleven. But just so you guys know, it's actually right across from the parking lot. We walked in through the back. So and uh, yeah, they have most of our face covering and social distancing right there on the front. But and, like on these doors out there, it just says the Hershey Press Building. We're so dumb. There's a big sign right on the front. <laughs> well, I don't know how we missed that. Do you know what happened though? We saw this Houlihan sign and we just assumed it was Houlihan's. But I guess Houlihan's is to the right? I don't know. We walked all the way around in like yeah. 30 degree weather and I'm wearing a dress and heels. <laughs> it's very cold out, so we're gonna Make be a little quick. quick. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, it's our the best fine dining experience we've had in Hershey, Pennsylvania, for sure. The two topper trogues and Devin's uh, seafood and steak. I'd probably pick this place just for that dessert. The dessert took it over the top. Yeah. If, if you, you made me choose and had to twist my arm. <laughs> uh, but some of the best food you could find here. Yeah, in and Hershey, my steak was actually like better than California Grill and Disney. Yeah, better than the Oak Fire Filet in Disney. That's for sure. It was a I, really good. I wasn't quite on par with my Wagyu. But it is better than the Oak Fire Flan. It is cheaper it? than your Wagyu. It is, yeah. Um, and great waiter. Uh, yeah, Greg. Greg. He was awesome. If you can get here, if you can get Greg, he was awesome. So if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Uh, subscribe, follow along with us as we try different fruits from different theme park and theme park area based resorts. We appreciate you guys watching. Don't count the days. But make the days count. We'll see you next time. It's all, folks. It's good food. Very cold night.